Hey everyone, welcome back to The Soundline. My name is James and I'm here to talk to you today about Lumen's all new streaming solution, the D3. So the D3 is the successor to Lumen's D2. It's their new entry-level all-in-one streaming solution with a built-in DAC. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys just about some of the differences between the, the predecessor, the D2, and this, what improvements they've made to it, and also a little bit about how it sounds in comparison. So the biggest change that they've made going from the D2 to the D3 is probably the DAC. They're now in the D3 using the new Sabre ES9028 Pro DAC, which coupled with a brand new processor results in quite a bit significant improvement in sound quality from my testing. They have also changed a little bit about the construction of the unit. The form factor is basically the same, but the look of it and the material is slightly different. Uh, the, the D2 had this kind of brushed aluminium uh, looking sort of finish with the brain lines on it, the D3 and like what they did with the T3 when they announced that. Now it's more of a matte sheen, sort of just plain straight black. Material wise though, they have changed the chassis a wee bit. Something they talk about in their cut sheet for the new D3 is that it's an all aluminium chassis. So it's got an aluminium front, the whole top and sides and bottom, it's all completely aluminium. Uh, I believe the reason that they talk about that, though they don't explicitly say this, is I think the Lumen D2 for the top and sides at least is more of a steel chassis. Um, I can tell this by the sound difference. Again, they don't explicitly say this, so take this with a grain of salt, but if I just, there's a little bit of a ring to that. There's still some, but not as much ring. What that ultimately amounts to, by using aluminium, because it's more of an inert material, it doesn't vibrate as much as steel does, it's gonna be less resonance in the circuit board um, inside the whole unit. And as we've seen with, you know, high quality hi-fi racks that do a lot of vibration isolation, that's definitely a good thing. Having less vibration in the component will improve the sound quality. So I understand why they did that. Quickly going over some of the connections on the back, it's the exact same as what the D2 had. So going from your left to right, we've got uh, RCA and XLR balanced outputs, which is really nice to have both. Um, we've got a Digital out, which is a proper BNC 75 ohm connection with an earth terminal on it as well, which is really nice to have um, if you you know feel like you need to earth this out a bit better than what you would get with the standard earthing pin in the IEC cable. We've got your wired network connection. Lumen don't put Wi-Fi chips in any of their products. They know that Wi-Fi chips are working on a radio frequency. Radio frequencies are detrimental to hi-fi products, so if you're buying one of these lumens, you just have to bear in mind, it has to be hardwired to your internet, it won't do it on Wi-Fi. There's a couple of USB slots here which allow you to plug in um, USB SSDs or thumb drives or something like that if you want to have some music that you've got stored and you want to play that back through the device. Your three pin IEC outlet and a master on off switch in case you want to completely turn it off so that it's not drawing any current when you're away on holiday or something like that. Connections, basically the exact same. Chassis looks exactly the same as the D2 with the exception of the color uh, style change and now it's made of aluminium rather than uh, steel. And then internally, new DAC, new processor, all of this amounts to a much more engaging and natural sound. So we're getting onto more of the sound side of things now. If I had to put the, uh, the sound of it into words, I would say that it is a more natural and organic sounding player. It's got a little bit less of that uh, that digital tinge that sometimes comes with streaming. Um, and also the background was a lot quieter as well. When I was listening to a little bit of Tracy Chapman, um, it's a really nice recording, a lot of background ambience going on in that recording. And I could hear the reverb of the room and the the space of the room far clearer on the D3 than what I could on the D2. So yeah, much nicer, quieter background and more organic and engaging mid-range. Uh, in the software, you can play music from Tidal, uh, Cobuzz, TuneIn Radio, uh, local music files. Uh, you, if you wanna play Apple Music, you can do it via AirPlay 2. It also now has compatibility with Tidal Connect, uh, Spotify Connect, and, oh, and they're all entirely room ready as well. So there's lots of different ways you can play music to this. 
whether it's from the actual music app, from Lumen's app that they've developed, or from a third party app like Room. Lots of options for different interfaces. Um, so that's been our short and sweet video on the Lumen D3, guys. We've got it here in the store and it's playing around the clock, so if you want to come and have a listen to it, hop on down and see us. We're at 329 Madras Street in Christchurch. We'd love to um, have you. You can have a coffee and have a listen and see what you think of it. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope I catch you in the next one. Kakatiano.